Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Erin Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. Inspired by the life of the savvy and ambitious Colombian businesswoman Griselda Blanco comes a new Netflix original limited series. Griselda tells the story of a devoted mother who, with her lethal blend of charm and relentless savagery, creates one of the most powerful cartels in history. Witness Sofia Vergara's captivating transformation into the godmother of the underworld. Griselda, streaming January 25th, only on Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. I'm your host, Debbie. And today we're having a rogue-centric episode. <laughs> Hello. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Mike. Uh, I run uh, Rogue Media Network here in Waco. Mm -hmm. RogueMediaNetwork.com. Uh -huh. Do not go to RogueMedia.com. Oh, no. That lady wants $5,000 for that Woo! URL, and I don't, don't do want to pay her. Wow, well, so, that's exciting. Yeah. Thanks for being on. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Um, no, she and I have talked several times, and then just oof, price keeps going up. I don't like it. Nope. So, uh, <laughs> Debbie, before we get started, I uh -huh. want to say uh, Happy New Year to you. Yay. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing about this is this is the second time we've recorded this episode. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell them that. Yeah, You're I don't care. You spoiled the magic. Yeah, the magic. Magic spoiled. <laughs> um, w when they saw it was me, magic was spoiled <laughs> yeah, I do to begin it. with. Uh, but I, I want to thank you for being a part of Rogue uh, as much as you have been over the years. You are one of the reasons we do what we do. Uh, you are, <laughs> you, you've been pretty much a constant at Rogue. It's true. The entire time. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah. Um, February will make three years. Yeah, it's nuts. Three years. Nuts. That's uh, so there's 52 weeks in a year. You could have a three-year-old. Three. Oh, that, whoa, don't tell me that. That's <laughs> that's too far. Well, you kind of um, do. I mean, I, mean, no I guess so. your three-year-old. No Waco is my baby. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I couldn't have done it without Rogue. Um, so, I mean, of course, I'm going to give you the normal No Waco treatment. Yeah, please. Because um, you've never actually been on an episode, so you're not I even a not. veteran. Yeah. Um, so... What brought you to Waco, or are you a Waco native? So, Debbie, uh, I was born in Taipei, Taiwan. Wow. My dad was in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in 1917. Wow. No, when he's 140 not. years old. <laughs> uh, he, he, I was born there because he was in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. We then moved to San Angelo, Texas. I know out west. I'm from Odessa. Yeah. Uh, nothing happens there, uh, with the exception of as a small child, you trip over the heater grate and bust your lip several times. A few times, times yeah. Um, but then we moved to Waco where, uh, my parents, family and mm -hmm. everybody is from, uh, lived here most of my life, moved to Austin five or six years, uh, kind of tooled around there and then came back because of family commitments yeah. and stuff. So the Waco suck caught me. Yeah. And so now you've been with Rogue for a while. So tell me about how you got with Rogue, how Rogue became a thing. Well, um, we started in 2019. As mm -hmm. you know, we started yeah. over on Franklin. Uh, I met a, a middle-aged man in a warehouse. That's right. So you met me in a warehouse scary. in the middle of the night um, uh, just off of an Instagram post. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you, Don't I meet your heroes. Could have sold your kidneys like three or four <laughs> times. Uh, but <laughs> don't meet your heroes. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um Anyway, we we met. We started your show. Mm -hmm. uh, I would sit out in the in the hallway there at the warehouse and record these shows and mm -hmm. hope that no deliveries came or or somebody didn't chop up a car in the back or <laughs> there whatever. There was a chop shop in the back. Uh, they, at the end, there was a guy with a lizard shop there. He is still <laughs> there and doing well. Doing well with his lizards. God bless him. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Yo Yo. <laughs> Exotic pets. Yo Yo. It's like. <laughs> it's like Yo Yo Two or something. And uh, Steve's Barbershop. It's Steve. Yeah, yeah well, Steve. Steve. Steve, Steve's Steve is a it. constant man. Yeah. I mean, that dude has been there for a while yeah. now. He does. He does a heck of a business. Steve's a great guy. If you're watching this, Steve, we miss you. Um, we moved from there over to uh, Washington, mm -hmm. and we had our space next to uh, the escape rooms yeah. there. 
uh, where we inherited a, an event space mm -hmm. and threw a bunch of weird events. Yeah, we brought back the live garage band scene here in Waco, live music. Yeah. We single-handedly um, brought back the drag scene here in Waco. Uh, yeah. We brought we back did a lot. 80s proms. We did an 80s prom. Uh, we almost got sued. Um, <laughs> we did, we we did, did some did. bad commercials. It is crazy the amount of stuff we did over yeah. there. Yeah, uh, for a year and a half. Yeah, we were yeah. there for a year and a half. And then uh, we moved over here uh, in July mm -hmm. of this year. Um, and it it has been it's been a crazy kind of three years that uh, the growth that we've seen and just yeah. the people we've met and the, the great folks that we've worked with. Yeah. I mean, some folks that I never thought we would work with, you yeah. know. And, so uh, we moved to this location with about 70 podcasts. Where are we yeah. now? Uh, we're, I think the last time I looked, 104, 105, Oof. something like that. Um, so the catalog is big. We put out probably 40 episodes a week. Wow. Um, Minor two most of, of yours them. being, <laughs> well, you've got what, three episodes that come yeah, out a week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So yeah. you've got two Poltergals and this? Yeah. And for December, it was just like Poltergals nonstop. So. Yeah. Oh my God. You had a lot of Poltergals. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys, I don't know if you've looked at the charts, but y'all climbed like crazy. Yeah. No, it goes usually like bottom 10 and mm -hmm. then Polter, I think is now like mid. Yeah. So, no, I think two I, in the top. I think when I looked this morning, if I look at the last thirty days, you guys are at like number four or five. Woo. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You guys have come come way up. Yeah. yeah. And now for a word from our sponsors. TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because fifty four percent of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean. TIAA released Paper Right, new music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. 911, what's your emergency? Do you hear that? It's coming from the house. It's coming from inside the house? Uh, do you mean, could it be? The Bolter Cows. New from Rogue Media, two haunted hotties talking about haunted places. Every episode, we dive deep into the darkest places and give you a bit of history. We're getting spooky in all the right places. You've gobbled your last ghoul. Follow along for the craziest and spookiest stories with Debbie's Dark Tourism. The Stanley Hotel, Winchester House, The Alamo, Hotel Monte Vista, and more spooky places. Find us at the underscore Poltergals. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-A-L-S. Look over your shoulder. It's us, the Poltergals. Wherever you consume the podcast, you can find us there. Hi, this is Sarah. And I'm Carter. And this is Some of Our Thoughts. We're two Southern sommeliers, and we want to share everything we love and know about wine. We started hanging out during quarantine and cooking and drinking and listening to music, and we just thought this would be a great way to bring everything we know to you guys. We will make wine knowledge and food pairings easy and approachable. So put on your favorite vinyl, grab your favorite glass of wine, tune into our show, and let's have some fun. Wine, wine and vinyl. vinyl. <laughs> so check us out on roguemedianetwork.com or wherever you get your favorite podcast. We'll be talking about a lot. Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. 
Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. Back to the episode. It just it it speaks to consistency. Yeah, and uh, just always doing putting the damn something thing. out. You know. Yeah. Oh no, I said the bad word on my own podcast. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. Mike's a bad influence. It's okay. I said hell earlier. <laughs> <laughs> You're have to bleep it. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I will. I'll bleep it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, Rogue has been around for quite a while now, and we have something exciting coming up for 2023, which is why I have you here. We do. Um, uh, tell me about it. Uh, yeah, I have to do something exciting to get on your show. Yeah. I can't just come yeah, on your show. No. Um, we have RogueCon 23. RogueCon, RogueCon, RogueCon. RogueCon 23. Uh, coming up uh, January 20th through the 22nd. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was a uh, celebration of creators and all kinds of creations. Mm-hmm. Um, so if we think about that, we think about the podcasters and the YouTubers and the TikTokers and the the horse drawn carriages. I don't mm-hmm. know if that one belongs. But um, <laughs> Hey, we're, we're not going to have micro wrestling, are we? Uh, I'm I'm not saying we're not <laughs> because if I can work it out we will we will, we will. <laughs> um, but um, w- there's there's a lot of stuff that we're we're gonna have here so the way this works mm-hmm. is it is a three day thing mm-hmm. like I said it's a Friday Saturday and Sunday uh, June uh, June January it's June <laughs> <laughs> January twentieth through the twenty second uh-huh. so on the twentieth everybody will gather over at Nexus mm-hmm. kick uh, off we'll have a big kickoff concert uh, introduce everybody to everything mm-hmm. they'll you get, get their, a goodie bag they'll get their goodie bags they'll get their uh, bracelets uh, for the con uh, and uh, we'll have a big celebration of thanks for coming and here's what you can expect yeah then on Saturday. Uh, we will have six locations in downtown Waco open. So it's going to be uh, Nexus, uh, Undercroft, mm-hmm. uh, Cultivate, mm-hmm. Startup Waco, Texas Music Cafe, and Waco Escape Rooms. Yeah. So uh, if we think about it, uh, Texas Music Cafe will be doing music all day. Hmm. Waco Escape Rooms will be doing special escape rooms for the con. Yes. Uh, Startup Waco, uh, there will be panels mm-hmm. and uh, I'll be doing one of those demos and no things Waco. like yeah. yeah. So we've got creators and influencers and people like that coming and telling you how to do this and and people talking about maybe equipment and and uh, different ways to to make content and mm-hmm. get it out there in front of people. Uh, then we go to Nexus. We've got live podcasts and different shows all day. Maybe some mm-hmm. snakes involved. Ooh. Um, we've got the sandwich shop that's open. Then if we go over to Undercroft, uh, we're going to have some, uh, uh, there's like a live poetry slam that's yeah. going on down poetry. there. Plus, uh, Matt, a uh, friend of the sh- of the network is, yeah. is going to be screening a bunch of his mashup videos so that he's made over that. the last year. Um, <clears throat> upstairs. Mm-hmm. At Cultivate, we're going to have the Artist Alley. We'll mm-hmm. have all the vendors in mm-hmm. there. That'll be uh, all day long, right? Yeah, all yeah. day long. All It'll day long on Saturday. To five. 11 to 5 Saturday. <laughs> we say 11 to 5 because there's a booking at 6. Yeah, don't uh, worry. <laughs> but then, <laughs> then the next day uh, on Sunday... So when you go to these events at all these different places, mm-hmm. you'll you'll get handed tickets for mm-hmm. being a part of the the audience or part yeah. of the the people that show up, and you want to hang on to these tickets because on Sunday you bring all the tickets back to Nexus where we have another concert, another big festival kind of thing, uh, a send off for everybody. We're gonna put all the tickets in a big hopper, spin them around, and give out some cool prizes. I'm excited for that. That yeah. sounds amazing. It's twenty bucks for the entire weekend. Wow, twenty dollars. Yeah, it. that sounds great. And I mean, it's gonna be so exciting seeing so many. Community community content creators yep. um, people coming together doing cool stuff all the time everywhere um, and again this is just a cool celebration in downtown Waco yeah. um, especially utilizing those six different locations yeah. so um, it's really going to give you the opportunity to kind of explore uh, explore not only downtown but explore um, all the cool stuff that's going well on. and the idea here is is that that those those six locations will be having stuff yes but we want people to to just explore downtown yeah. Right. Uh, so visit Union the Hall, bars, yeah. visit the visit the restaurants, visit the the Stay other classy. shops down yeah. there. Yeah. Stay Classy is definitely a partner. Uh, 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 cauldron and mm-hmm. Casket and Cauldron. Casket and cauldron. Yeah. So they'll be doing a show. cool burlesque show. <laughs> yeah. There'll be a burlesque show that night. 
Yeah, we're going to try to funnel we'll be, everybody too. Yeah, we'll we'll be pushing people that way. Um, but uh, uh, Waco Axe Company, um, uh, Glass Phoenix. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, there's just so many little little shops downtown, and we hope that people will take the time that. When you're going from one thing to the next, that uh, you'll stop into some of those little shops and just yeah. kind of see what they have. Maybe you've not been in there. Maybe you've always wanted to go in there. Yeah. Um, there's just cool stuff downtown. And hopefully this helps kind of generate some interest in, in yeah. everything down there. And this event sounds like a wonderful way to kick off 23. Um, yeah. I mean, 2023 is coming up before we know it. So it's kind of crazy to think about we're we're done with 2022. Um, we got a whole year ahead of us. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. So Insanity. Um, what an amazing proof of concept and just you know doing something cool <laughs> yeah uh you can uh, anybody out there that wants tickets you can go to roguecon23.com mm-hmm. or you can go over to roguemedianetwork.com and it'll route you over uh where you need to be um the tickets like i say 20 bucks it's it's super super cheap and uh we're bringing some some content creators and some influencers and stuff mm-hmm. from out of town um that we hope will make a big splash here but but the whole idea here is to uh promote downtown, promote the businesses, promote the people, mm-hmm. uh, and just what's happening in downtown Waco. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Um, and I know this is just the tip of the iceberg for Rogue. So what are some of the other things you have planned for 2023? So 2023, we've got a couple of things that, that I'm pretty excited about. One, uh, we'll be working with uh, Michelle and her crew over at uh, Waco and Magazine. Shout out those guys. Um, we've got a couple of shows that we're going to start with them. Uh, very excited about those. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Baylor University, uh, Baylor Athletics. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are a partner with them. We do John Morris's show, uh, Sikkim. And uh, I think we've got some other stuff in the works. That's exciting. Uh, we may have talked them into doing some video. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a little show uh, called Bustles and Bangers that Excited. is starting. And this is a very simple concept. It's a married couple that are reading uh, romance novels, crappy romance novels to <laughs> each other. Yeah, novels. they're bad ones. Yeah. The bad ones. <laughs> they cost me a quarter a piece. <laughs> but uh, I've had this idea for like a year and a half. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think Finally it's very Finally coming to fruition. Funny. Yeah, I think it's yeah. very funny. And uh, Podcast Diaries. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, podcast diaries is something that it's kind of a little passion project of mine. Um, <coughs> don't excuse die. me, Debbie. I'm so sorry. I'm getting you sick. First, No. The first time we did this, <laughs> I had water. Um, I drank all my water. Uh, and then we were told there was no audio. So uh, <laughs> podcast diaries, basically the national average is eight shows. Yeah. So uh, people Crazy. start a start a podcast, they do eight shows, and then they quit. Because it's either too hard or life gets in the way or whatever. I've already right? passed 80 you, episodes. You're at 100 and... Well, it's almost like, I think it's almost 150. Je- February will make about 150. That's crazy. So I'm somewhere, in be- yeah. I'm after 100, but yeah. somewhere before That's 150. Nuts. Yeah. Uh, between you and uh, Ann Harder mm-hmm. and a couple of other shows, boy, we are way over the hundreds with uh, with yeah. a lot of those. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, so anyway, Podcast Diaries is just me interviewing people who do the podcasts all over the world. Mm-hmm. Um, but these people are people that are committed to their shows, uh, and we talk about their drive and their stick to and and just the commitment they've made and, and what's been hard, what's been easy, why people should start, why people should not stop, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. It's only about a 20-minute listen, but uh, I got to tell you, I put out a post looking for people to talk to. Mm-hmm. And uh, everywhere but Reddit, it was very successful. Uh, Reddit <laughs> yelled at me and uh, asked me who I was and why I was here. <laughs> but that's very Reddit of you. So, yeah, good job, um, <clears throat> Everywhere else, I got I got a really good response. And yeah. uh, I'd say probably within two hours of putting out that first post, I had like 30 interviews oh scheduled. Uh, I've done about 20 of those so far. Wow. And so that's where my voice is gone. Um, but, uh, they have all just been fascinating. There's, there's so many fascinating people out there that are doing such cool stuff. And, uh, I, I suggest, uh, listening to a couple of them because they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're truly inspiring. A couple yeah. of these folks. That's really so, cool. Yeah. It'll be good. 
Yeah, that's so great. Well, of course, give us all of your information where you can plug yourself. Give us where we can find you, find more information. Just always go to roguemedianetwork.com. Do not mm-hmm. go to roguemedia.com nope. because I'm not giving that lady any money. <laughs> uh, and you can also go to roguecon23.com mm-hmm. because uh, that's where you can get your tickets and find out all about everything that's happening at RogueCon. Yeah. I promise that schedule will be up by the time yeah. this is out. Hopefully. Uh, no, it will be. <laughs> uh, I've made that commitment between you, uh, the camera, and uh, whoever's listening upstairs, and it's mostly squirrels. That was going to say. But, um, <laughs> yeah, those are the two places. Anywhere on social media, mm-hmm. just look for Rogue Media Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, most places, you just spell it out, and you're good to go. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so glad I've, I've finally had you on an episode of No Waco. How do you feel? That, it feels wonderful, Debbie. Great. I, I feel like uh, I'm going to go it pick only, out a coffin now. It only it's, took it's three over. years yeah. to do it. <laughs> That's right. It only took three years. Hey, uh, just before we go, uh-huh. uh, I don't know if I've done it on this episode because I did it on the last <laughs> one that doesn't count, uh, but I want to thank you just oh. for sticking with us and uh, being an integral part of Rogue Media Network. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks. All right. That's it. All right. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>